welcome to Robin on the Farm. Today we're gonna to be making a batch of good old fashioned Southern buttermilk biscuits. I know my biscuits because I was born and raised in the South and I have probably eaten more than my weight in biscuits over the course of my lifetime. I've also made these biscuits a ton and this is an awesome traditional recipe that was handed down to me from my family. So these are real Southern biscuits and they are real good. The great thing about biscuits is that they are so fast. I can whip these up and get them on the table in less than 20 minutes from start to finish. Um, biscuits aren't a yeast bread, they use baking powder as a leavening agent. And so they're super fast and they're super yummy. So try out this recipe, I know you're gonna love it. So to make these biscuits, you're gonna need some all-purpose flour, some milk, some vinegar, or buttermilk, some butter, salt, and baking powder, and that is it. Super simple ingredients. You can keep these things on hand so that you can make biscuits anytime. That's what I do. Okay, so let's get started. Let's get right into this. You're gonna need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Just put it right in your little bowl. Now you're gonna need one tablespoon of baking powder. Not baking soda, baking powder. Okay, just throw that in there. Doesn't have to be totally exact. It can be a tablespoon, give or take. Okay, now a teaspoon of salt. Just add that to your bowl. Now, we're gonna whisk these three ingredients. Just kind of whisk them up so that they're nice and mixed up. You want some good cold butter. You wanna bring this straight from the fridge. So if you're gathering your ingredients, get your butter out last. Okay, this is my trick. You're gonna want one of these little cheese graters and you're gonna grate your butter into the bowl, okay? This makes it so much easier and so much faster to deal with. See how quick that is? Okay, so grate the entire stick of butter into your bowl. Now you're just gonna kinda of use a fork just kind of get it all covered with your flour real quick. This is gonna make it easier to deal with too. Okay, so now that my butter's in here, I'm gonna use this pastry cutter um, and I'm just gonna squish all this butter and I'm trying to work it into the flour. You can also do this with like two knives um, if you want to, if you don't have a pastry cutter, you can use two knives and you're just gonna kind of cut it all up. You want your butter to get to be um, like the size of little peas, little gravel. Okay, so just work that in there. And because we grated our butter, this is so much easier. If you had big chunks of butter in here, it's really hard to mix up and really hard to get to the right size, but this makes it so easy. So this should just take a minute to do this. So this is what it looks like so far. Looks pretty good. You can see the butter is kind of in little pea-sized crumbles in there. If you have real buttermilk, you wanna use real buttermilk. If you don't, like I don't right now, I'm gonna use whole milk and I'm gonna add a little splash of vinegar and this is gonna help our milk clabber. And it's gonna give just a real nice tangy flavor to our biscuits. Now you're gonna pour this into your ingredients. So now you're gonna take a fork and you're just gonna mix that up. You're gonna take this and you're gonna turn it out onto your countertop. I almost forgot a really important part. I need to stick this griddle into the oven so that it heats up before I put my biscuits on it. This is my cast iron griddle. I love this thing. I make all my biscuits on it. I've probably made thousands of biscuits on this thing and it still looks as good as the day that I got it. If you don't have one of these, you can also use like a cast iron skillet or a cookie sheet. Our oven is preheated to 425 degrees. Go ahead and throw your skillet into the oven so that it gets nice and hot. Okay, now that your dough is on your counter, you just want to hand knead it for a second. You just want it to come together. Just kind of squish it together, flip it over, squish it, flip it over, squish it. And all of a sudden you'll have this nice little ball of dough to work with, okay? So now you're gonna squish it out a little bit and you're gonna fold it over. You're gonna fold it in to the middle on both sides. You're gonna fold it in, fold it in. This will help create those air pockets so that you get nice, good, tall biscuits. And then flip it over, do the same thing again from the other side. There you go. Okay. Like I said, this is just gonna make even better high-risen biscuits. 
Okay, so I did that twice. You can do it a few times if you want. Now I'm gonna take my rolling pin. I'm just gonna roll this out. I'm gonna go ahead and get my cast iron griddle out of the oven. It should be hot enough now. Okay, yep, it's hot. Okay, I'm gonna throw this on there. This is a little cool cast iron accessory so that you don't accidentally grab the handle and get burned. That's what I'm putting that on there for. Okay, so the biscuit dough's ready. It's all rolled out. I'm gonna now take um, my biscuit cutter and cut the biscuits. You can also use like a mason jar or anything that's round and circular. You can use any of that kind of thing. This little biscuit cutter makes it super easy. I've had it for years, I love it. Okay, so this is the trick with this. You want to press down and don't twist. If you twist, that can seal the edges of your biscuits and keep them from rising really well. So you're gonna press down and pull up. <laughs> press down and pull up. Resist the urge to twist. Okay, so there we go. Now I can tell that because I'm filming, this is taking me way longer than normal. And so my dough feels a little bit warmer <laughs> than normal. Um, so hopefully it'll all turn out just fine and normal, but normally you wanna work kind of quick so that your um, butter stays nice and cold. You'll get the best rise if you do that. Okay, so I have several cut out. I'm gonna put this dough all back together, kind of do the same thing, squish it out, cut some more biscuits, put them on the pan. Okay, I've got eight biscuits on here so far and I have a little bit of dough left. This is always called like the dummy biscuit. <laughs> the little leftover part that's not quite shaped right, but it's kind of a fun biscuit to eat. So now I've got all my dough on there. I'm gonna throw this into the oven for 15 minutes at 425 degrees. And then our biscuits are gonna be ready and I cannot wait to eat them. Look at this biscuit. It rolls really great, it has nice flaky layers in there just like you want your biscuits to have. Um, let's see, the bottom is perfect color, the top is nice and brown. This is like the perfect biscuit in my opinion. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Mm, I love biscuits, you've got to try these. I'll post the recipe down in the description. Please like, share, and subscribe.